Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Paleocrat Diaries. I'm your host, Jake Fowler, here with a very special guest. This is Canon 211, where we have special guests, such as my new friend, Dr. Ryan M. Brown. Dr. Brown, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. This is a real treat uh, for me, and I think our audience is going to enjoy this too, because we have some philosophy for once, right? This show is normally theology and history and a little bit of spirituality, sometimes, not very often, but almost never philosophy. And so this, this is a, uh, a unique opportunity for us to come together to talk about the virtue of hope and reason as we find it in Plato, Joseph Pieper, and uh, honestly, in some of their detractors as well. So we'll get into that in just a moment. Before I do, I want to remind you all that Canon 211 is this new thing that I'm trying out, right? I'm starting it up. Here's the goal. Uh, I want to evangelize. I want to evangelize more so than I already have been, which, which wasn't very much, to be honest. I want to bring the message of Christ uh, in creative ways to audiences who appreciate hearing about theology and history and philosophy and so on and so on and so on. So I've styled this series after the code uh, of Canon Law 211 that indicates that the lay faithful have not only the right, but in fact the duty to spread the gospel of Christ. One of the ways that I think is important to do that is to bring attention to young scholars such as Ryan here, who write in the journal Communio, who write in Nova et Vetera, who write in uh, a forthcoming, uh, actually it's not forthcoming any longer, the new ressourcement that is uh, now being published. Uh, gentlemen who write in the Thomist and who write for Church Life Journal and who write books like my friend Richard DeClue, who just wrote his first book, The Mind of Benedict the uh, That's That's what we're doing here at Canon 211. You can find exclusive Canon 211 content on Locals. That's canon211.locals.com. I encourage you all to become a member, and if you're so inclined, become a supporter as well. Now, Mr. Brown, Dr. Brown. Ryan Brown uh, is a professor, was a professor, of philosophy. He has taught at Villanova University. He has taught at Sacred Heart University and Eastern University, but he's a family man through and through. He loves his wife, he loves his child, and he is pursuing a career in the tech industry because he has good sense, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> uh, I say that tongue in cheek, but seriously, uh, academia is not friendly for family life. I know that firsthand, and I only teach at a high school. All right, I'm, I'm blessed to teach at the school I teach at, and the administration loves families, and they're very supportive. However, we're the exception that proves the rule. Uh, there are many, many professors out there who will be very frank if you ask them, and no, this is not a job for a family man. So with that being said, welcome once more uh, to Canon 211, Paleocrat Diaries. Let's talk about uh, your article. Okay, where do you want to begin? <laughs> well, I'd like to know what motivated you to write it in the first place, because we were talking before mm -hmm. uh, we started recording here, and it, it, it's fascinating. And how, how does somebody come up with, you know, I think I'm going to write about Plato and Pieper. Yeah, so um, a lot of my favorite things that I've I've thought through research written about come about very happenstance out of my teaching. In this case, uh, this came really started when I was teaching at Eastern. Uh, when I was teaching there, I was teaching a class on ancient philosophy. Um, I'm primarily a Plato scholar by trade, so that's kind of my bread and butter. Uh, but I was also teaching a philosophy religion class and um, trying to find resources that are accessible to audiences, freshmen, sophomores who haven't really done much philosophical work. Uh, Joseph Pieper, I, I think, you know, he's he's not exactly easy, but compared to a lot of other philosophy, he's not nearly as uh, abstruse, and he has really good sensibilities. 
So um, when I was teaching philosophy religion, I decided to use some of his work, uh, both in my philosophy religion class, my intro class for my, my Eastern students. And just reading Plato and reading Pieper at the same time, started thinking like, huh, they're kind of doing something the same uh, in different ways though. So Pieper is all but saying my thesis. He doesn't ever quite say it, but he really lays the grounds for it. Um, and Plato, by contrast, doesn't say it at all, but he dramatizes it uh, in, in the way that he portrays Socrates' life and action. Uh, he shows that what it is to be a Socratic philosopher is to be hopeful. So uh, having those two things at the same time, I thought, let's see where this goes. So, so that's, that's your general thesis, is that mm -hmm. uh, human reason mm -hmm. is structured according to the virtue of hope. Am yes. I phrasing that in mm -hmm. an acceptable way? Yep. So uh, you could say, and this is my, my summary of what I think you're writing about. Uh, so correct me if I'm wrong. You, you could could you say that not only in Plato but in Pieper, we find an account of human reason that at one and the same time is uh, full of promise, mm -hmm. but also needs a ton of help. Mm -hmm. So how do how do we find like what what does it mean for reason to be hopeful in the first place? When you say that, what are what are you getting at? Yeah, that's that's an important thing to clarify up front, especially because uh, hope is an ambiguous term. Ladies and gents, the preview is over. To watch the full video, go to canon211.locals.com and become a member, become a supporter, get access to exclusive content, stay in touch with the Canon211 community. Well, that's it for today. Never give up, keep on smiling, and memento mori. Cheers. <laughs>